Hi guys, welcome to yoga. We're going to work through a short half hour practice and honour yourself, honour what's going on in your body, in your mind at the moment and know that if anything feels too much at any time then you simply rest down. Enjoy the practice. So start in a cross-legged position and as you come to cross-legged, cross at the shins. Switch on the feet so the feet are flexed. Take an in-breath, raise the arms up to the sky, let the head lift. And as you exhale, push the air away, slowly lowering the hands. Let's do that twice more. Now for the beginning of our practice, we are going to set an intention. So placing your left hand onto your chest, your right hand to cover your left, let your eyes close. Take a long breath into the belly, slow out breath. Let an intention come to mind, one of health, one of happiness, an intention for your practice just for this next half hour, whether it's to be more embodied, to feel more vibrant, more healthy, maybe to calm the mind. Your eyes drift open and release the hands. So starting to walk your hands towards the front of the mat. As you walk your hands towards the front, start to wiggle the hips from side to side. Reach the fingertips towards me. As you take a breath in, raise the chest. As you exhale, start to inch your way forwards just a little more, drawing the chin down towards the sternum. Take a long breath into the back of the lungs. A slow exhale. And remind yourself of your intention of practice. Breathe slowly. Starting to integrate body, breath and mind. Now walk your hands over to the right side of the mat. If you lengthen through your left arm, your left fingertips, and bring your right hand just a little down by the side of you so you can use your right hand as a lever. Take a breath in, lift the chest, and as you exhale, think belly button towards your thigh as you lengthen and inch yourself forwards. Breathe slowly along the left side body, inhaling into the left lung, exhaling, softening into the posture a little more. Now holding over to this right hand side, take the left arm up so you create a long lever and then start to inch your way back down again. Do that twice more. Let the in breath lift you and the out breath soften you. Last time. Walk your hands over to the other side. Now remember I'm mirroring you. So reach through your right fingertips, your right arm, your left hand just down by the side of you. Take a breath in, lift the chest, lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, think belly button to thigh as you draw your chin down towards your chest and your abdomen closer towards the earth. 
finding spaciousness in the right side body. Illuminating your right lung with every in-breath. Softening into the posture with every out-breath. Bring in a short vinyasa flow into this posture. Your inhale lifts the arm and your exhale extends and lowers. Twice more. Breathe slowly. And then walking your hands back to the centre. Inch your way back, upright, and place your hands back to your thighs. Leave your eyes closed for a moment. Remind yourself of your intention. The eyes drift over and change the interlace of the legs to the less familiar way. I'm going to do the same forward fold, Sukhasana. Take an in breath, raise the arms high, and as you exhale, pick up each bottom cheek side to side, that little wiggle and oiling of your joints. The in breath threads the chest, and the out breath lengthens you just a little more into the posture. Long, slow breaths. Let the back of the lungs illuminate. And the out breath to soften you. Now walking your hands back up towards your feet. Lifting yourself up. You're going to release the legs. So take the legs out in front, hold behind the knees and quite simply extend the legs and release. Extend and release. You might even do this without holding on to the thighs, oiling the knee joints. Keep the spinal column lengthened and breathe. Now releasing the legs going to cross over the legs and either roll right over to come to all fours or if that feels a bit tender for your knees, shift your legs to one side and then come to all fours. We're going to tuck the toes under, extending the sit bones towards the heels, bow the forehead down towards the air, raising the fingertips up onto the floor, feel a hollowing in the palms of the hands as well as the armpits. Long breaths into the back of the lungs. Two more breaths here. As you lift yourself upright, come to hands and knees. Now we're going to place the forearms down onto the mat. So your elbows lay slightly out to the sides. And as much as you can, encourage your hips and your knees to be stacked. We're going to inch the forearms away from us as we drop the chin and the chest down towards the earth. Now if this impinges on your shoulders, then please come back upright a little. Otherwise, let yourself drop down towards the earth so you create this ski slope in the back of the body. For a little more intensity here, you might bring your elbows to the mat, resting the palms of the hands together, inch your elbows a little wider and dropping the chest all the way down to the earth.
One more breath here. As you inch yourself slowly back, we're going to bring the fingertips back to the mat. We're going to tuck the tailbone under, tucking the toes under so you really round the spine. Let the spine move into flexion, let the head drop. Breathe into the back of the lungs. And then soften the back body to a natural shape as you press the palms of the hands into the mat, tucking the toes under. Sit bones to your heels, push into your hands and lift your knees just a little bit off of the mat so you fire up the thighs. Slow breaths. And then bring your knees back down to the earth. Come back to that quadruped position where your knees are stacked with your hips and your wrists roughly underneath your shoulders. We're going to extend the right arm forwards and take the left leg back behind. As much as you can, keeping your heel in line with the back of the body. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, shift your shoulder slightly past your wrist on your supporting hand to start to wake up the abdomen. Bringing the pubic bone towards the tailbone, the pubic bone towards the belly button, spiring up the abdomen. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, bring the elbow and knee close together, really rounding the spine. Stay steady and breathe. Let's do that again. So extending the arm, extending the leg, drop the pubic bone to the belly button, firing up the belly and the gluteal on the left side. Shift the shoulder past the wrist. Take a breath in. Exhale, elbow and knee. Last one. Extending the arm, extending the leg. Switch on the abdomen. Shift to the shoulder. Take a breath in. Exhale, elbow and knee, and this time hug your leg in. Hug it right up towards your chin. Step the foot between the hands. Let the body lift and let the arms rise. Breathe with ease. As you return the hands back to the mat, sweep both knees back to the earth. Tuck your toes under, extend your arms, and again, lift your knees and hover the knees just a touch from the earth, firing up the thighs, strong arms, pushing the mat away from you. And return the knees back down to the mat. Other side. So extend the left arm as you extend the right leg. Now take your time to get here. So we're looking for strength work. We're looking for um, activation in our body rather than just stretch. As we bring the pubic bone towards the belly button and shift that right shoulder just slightly past the wrist so it's strong. Take a breath in. Exhale, elbow and knee. Really round the spine. Stay steady. Breathe. Two more. And that last one, holding the knee, bring it up towards the chest as much as you can. Step the foot between the hands, nice and easy, Anjiyamasana, let the arms and the body lift. Breathe with ease. Take both hands back to the mat, step it back to your quadruped. Sit bones to your heels, tucking your toes under. Again, lift your knees just a little from the mat. Find strength in your thighs. Start to extend your tailbone high, high, high. Come up onto your tiptoes. Take that small bend into your knees so your spinal column elevates. Breathe slowly. Now keep your tailbone lifted and then encourage your heel 
heels a little further to the earth. Slow, long breath in, steady breath out. Start to walk your feet towards your wrists. And hang slowly like a rag doll. Let everything soften the knees, the arms. Now we're going to take the hands and we're going to cup them over the eyes. Let the eyes be plunged into darkness. Slow breath into the back of the body. Taking a long breath here as we look a little further inwards. Can you remind yourself of your intention for your practice? As you release the hands, step it back. Ava Mukha Shavasana, your downward facing dog. Pedal the heels up and down. Move around in the hips from side to side. Now we're going to take the swimming action through the arms and the thighs in our downward facing dog. So turn your feet and your knees to face the right side of the mat. Now have a little bit of bounceability in the legs. And as you bend and straighten your legs, you might start to lift that right arm up and over and return it back to the mat. Other side, so turn the feet and the knees over to the left. And again, that bounceability that you could take your sit bones all the way back to your heels. Be steady in the thighs and then take the left arm up and over. And then maybe move from side to side like you were doing front crawl in the swimming pool. Breathe slowly. So we're really oiling the shoulders, firing up into the abdomen, waking up the legs, getting a little bit more of an aerobic element to the practice. Now next time that you go to the left, make that the last time and come back to the downward facing dog. Breathe slowly. Getting the right leg up to the sky. Really lift through the heel. Take a long breath in. And as you exhale, bring your right knee to your nose and Step your foot between the hands. Take the left knee down, body rises, arms lift. We're going to take the left hand onto the lower back as you have your right palm to face up. Maybe tuck your back toes if it feels okay. Take a breath in and as you exhale, start to arc yourself back. Breathe into the space that you're creating across the front of the body. Slow, long breath. If it feels nice to do so, then reach your back heel. Breathe with ease. Take an in-breath here. As you exhale, windmill the hands to the earth. And as you do, straighten your right leg, drawing your toes back towards your chin, encouraging your sit bones to your heels. Again, inhaling, lifting up either your left hand into your lower back or towards the left heel. Arc yourself back. Take a breath in. Windmill the hands to the earth and extending the leg, bowing the chin towards the chest. Last time, lifting up. Windmill the hands. Choose your favourite hand position. And remind yourself of your intention for practice. Take an in-breath. Exhale, hands to the earth. And downward facing dog. 
Turn your knees and your feet to the right as you sweep that right arm high and up to the sky and around and the same to the left, swimming from side to side. Now next time that you move over to the left, make that the last time. And then come back into your Adho Mukha Shavasana. Breathe with ease. Sweeping the left leg to the sky, lead from the heel, take the leg as high and as strong as you can, take a breath in. Exhale, left knee to your nose and step the foot between the hands. Right knee goes down, body lifts, arms rise. We're going to take this right hand into the lower back, extending your left arm. Take a long breath in. Exhale, start to arc yourself into extension. Slow, long breath into the front of the body. feel ready to, you can reach for your back heel. Take a breath in. Exhale, windmill the hands forward. Extend the left leg, touching the earth. Sit bones to the heels. Draw your left toes back towards your collarbones. Inhaling, windmill the arms up and open. Choose your favourite hand position, whichever one feels really helpful to you. Breathe. Take a long breath in. Let the exhale windmill you over into that lengthened leg position, bowing your chin down towards your collarbones. Last one. Inhale, lifting up. Coming into your Ardha Ustrasana. Hands back to the earth, bowing your chin down. As you lift yourself back upright, take an in breath here, exhale, hands to the earth, come into your plank position. Switch on the thighs, engaging the gluteals together. Take a long breath here, exhale, bend the elbows just a little. Breathe. Place the knees back to the earth and come to rest in child's pose. Rising up from your child's pose position, I'm going to switch sides so you can see me now. Take your legs over to the left hand side of the mat. So they're in this mermaid position, but Vajrayasana. Now make sure that your hip points haven't got one side lifted higher than the other. So maybe use a cushion underneath your sit bones so you can bring your hip points to an even place so the spinal column is in a better position to rotate. Take a breath in, raise the arms high to the sky. And as you exhale, rotate to the right, lowering your hands, left hand onto your right leg. Your right hand goes behind you. Take your chin over the left shoulder and drop it down to the chest. Breathe slowly. Now placing this right palm down, can you sweep that left arm up and over by the ear? Create a long line through the lateral left side body and then lifting the hips if it feels welcomed. Once you've lifted the hips, you might be able to dangle this right hand in space. So there's a little activation through the front of your hip flexors. 
and then bring it back down. Come all the way down into a forward fold, drawing the chin down towards the chest. your hands back towards your legs. We're going to swap sides. So taking the legs over to the right. Again, pad yourself up. Take a moment for your sit bones to be in a good position. Take the arms up to the sky as you breathe in and rotate over to the left as you bring your left fingertips behind you, your right hand onto the thigh. Glance over your right shoulder and then drop the chin to the chest. Steady breathing. The posture isn't so much about the physical element, it's about the in-breath, the out-breath, the energy of the posture. And we're gonna bring a little more activity to the pose, so sweeping that right arm up by your ear, anchor down your left hand, Reach and maybe lift your hips and you might be able to lift them so far that this back hand, it dangles. Breathe. Slow, long breath in. Let your exhale soften you to the earth. Can you come into a forward fold, inching the arms away from you, dropping the chest down towards the mat? And lifting yourself back upright. Coming to the end of the practice. And instead of Shavasana, we're going to sit in stillness. So find a comfortable seated posture, whether that's Sukhasana with the legs crossed, or whether that's in a kneeling posture. Let the hands rest easily onto the thighs. Let the eyes close. Soften your belly. Take a long breath in and a slow breath out. A long breath in and a slow breath out. Remain with your long breath that rides in on your in-breath and that slow exhale that leaves on your out-breath. And stay in this place for as long as you desire. It's a half hour practice for us. We're going to bring the palms of the hands together and bow the head to the heart as we softly bow our hearts. Letting the eyes open and lifting the head. Honor yourself and your practice. Namaste.